Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJs. DJ. Welcome back to New York City. Whoop, whoop. We are getting ready to hop <laughs> on Carnival Venezia for a four-day cruise to Bermuda. It's going to be a blast. It is. Now, if you missed it, we were able to attend the Carnival Venezia inaugural event, and we put that video out on, it's like the 15th of June. Mm -hmm. So if you have missed that, we did a lot of ship looking, a lot of learning, maybe give that a peek. We'll try to repeat some of the details and do more ship looking this time, obviously, because yeah. we missed some stuff. But it was uninterrupted spaces for the most part, so you really get a good idea of what it looks like, but we're excited to jump on and be with other people and see how the spaces work with people. That's true. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, and this is the last leg of our around the world in 80-ish days trip. I think we're on day 77 yeah. right now. We go home after this. For a little bit. Then we leave after that. <laughs> For a while. Y'all. It's been amazing though, and it went a lot faster than you would imagine, honestly. It did. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna hop in an Uber Lyft <laughs> or something over to the port and just get this day rolling. Let's go have Italian fun. <laughs> Let's, I don't even know how to say like, let's go in Italian. Allons-y. That's French. Okay. But anyway. Manos. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll look it up. Bye. Bye. <laughs> across the street from Pier 88, I think mostly to avoid the congestion of that drop-off lane. Hello, bus. So we just have to cross here, and we'll be good to go. I guess they will take you up the drop-off lane if you request it. Well, we've checked our bags in there with the porters. Now we're in the gigantic elevator heading up to the second floor. To Narnia. So we made it through check-in. We've made it through x-ray. Here we go again. It was pretty fast. Now granted, you know, we have loyalty. That helps. Welcome to New York. Are they doing like a ribbon cutting or something? There's a podium out here. What? All right, in we go. Well, they came into the lounge and invited folks to come listen to Christine. I don't know if we're gonna get a good angle on Christine, but we'll come out here. <laughs> we should be able to get a sneaky little side view from over here. My name is Mark Hewen. I'm the cruise director of the beautiful ship, the Carnival Venezia. I am so excited because we are officially here. We have brought the amazing carnival fun Italian style ship to you and we are so excited to be able to get this party started. However, let's be real. I know that you're not here to just see my face. We'll save that for when you get on the ship. However, I have to bring up the person that's been able to make this whole thing happen and make it possible. Please put your hands together for the president of Carnival Cruise Line herself, Miss Christine Duffy! I am very, very excited to be here for the first cruise from beautiful New York City, and it's the first time we've had a ship home ported year-round in New York in quite some time, and of course we thought, what better place to bring Carnival Fun Italian style. Three, two, one. As you are making your way on over, if you could just make sure you got your boarding pass in your hands. We've officially been scanned on. Let's do this thing. This looks a little familiar. Second steps on board Carnival Venezia. <laughs> oh, I hear the party in here today. There it is. Okay. This, this, this is the party now. We found it. Let's jump in here to these smart elevators. We've been assigned car S. Uh, we are going to do some wandering. Well, our muster station is B5 right here by Bonsai. We kind of have stumbled into accidentally. Let's take care of that while we're walking. Oop, the tablet is not working, so we'll check in for our muster later. Ooh, I forget. I feel like... I'm looking at things I looked at yesterday, but you know, these videos are coming out a good little chunk after yeah. the thing that we just put out. Let's see, there is Frizzante, Il Viaggio. Now we'll enjoy some peace and quiet. That was quite the welcome, I gotta say. <laughs> Holy moly. Very energetic. Yeah. That's right, this is the Spritz Bar. Look at all that stuff. Y'all, they have five different espresso martinis. And One Direction is here, cheering us on. 
Well, I've wandered outside now. There's a venue that we completely missed yesterday called La Strada Grill, which is kind of like taking the place of maybe guys pick an anchor down here. Oh, we got a cheesesteak sandwich, roasted pork. There's a bunch of barbecue. Okay, I like the look of this. Oh, it's all done buffet style. Even the sandwich is ready to roll. I grabbed one of each sandwich and some rusted vegetables and some potato salad. Yo, know, fried chicken in a sandwich with a little bit of pesto, I think, is actually pretty good. So I just reviewed both sandwiches and I'm going to talk about the second one. It's like pork and pepper and cheese and salami and cheese. So it's a lot of flavor going on and it's got that zingy spice from the pepperoncini and the bread is really crusty. It's got a lot of flavor. It's really good. I enjoy it. Was she a spice girl? Zingy spice? I kind of forgot. Should be. It's like the <laughs> sixth one, yeah. <laughs> so I did get the chocolate orange martini. Yes, it has been spilled. Yes, it has been sipped. But you know, I had to carry it over here. It's fairly delicious. This is an Averna Spritz. Now the m items that are on the menu are not the items that went in the glass. So I don't know because it's supposed to be Averna um, sparkling wine and club soda. And what went in here, I believe, was Averna Campari, which is two like bitter liqueurs oh. and then club soda. I didn't see sparkling wine go in at all, but I wasn't watching like a hawk, so I didn't question it. It's not bad, but it, you got double bitter liqueurs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's passable. It's definitely got like bitter upon uh, bitter it, it upon does. bitter. Like normally Aperol is a little more bitter, but it's like all bitter. Yeah. I might go ask for a remake. Whoops. I don't, I don't do that, but that's not correct. And we want to show you the correct one. Uh, true. Alright, Dee has determined that it is passable. So we're going to see. We'll probably get another one and we'll try to compare and see if this was correct. But I know for a fact she put Campari in there. Second sip is better. Yeah, it gets better. Busy. I don't want to make a remake. Yet. That's true. Anyway, we're here for now. It's almost time for cabins. <laughs> Yay! Mm. Now let's see if the old mustard tablet is fixed. We'll take care of that. All right, we are done with mustard. Car N. Nice. Maybe N stands for nope. I don't want to show up. All right, we're going to do the stairs. <laughs> I think it means in that area. What is... I can't record in the cabin hallway? Okay, well let me stop. <laughs> I see, there's a crew area next to that sign, so maybe that's what we're not supposed to record. Okay. Boom, there it is. We have made it to the cabin. Now we have a cove balcony, which I think is a 7C, yeah. something like that. Cove balcony. Um, the decor is different. Let's look at it. Let us begin at the door where we have all the safety snes. Oh, that's not our fingerprints. Oh no. Um, hooks. Look at these little ornate hooks by the door. The wallpaper even. Take a peek at the carpet. I'm just fascinated by all this now. Um, the light switch does require a key card. Let's go and peek at the bathroom while we're here. So bathrooms on this side. Oh my. Hello. Hooks up on the door. This big glass shower. I do notice one container that is both shampoo and body wash. That's an interesting, I don't, uh, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> There's the floor, toileting zone, little towel racks and a mirror. How many, oh, we have shelf, shelf, shelf. Uh-huh. And then over here, shelf, shelf, shelf. So they're not being shellfish when it comes to storage. Nice. Cool ornate mirror, I just ran my hand into the wall. Let's get out of there. Woohoo! By the bathroom door, we have a thermostat, another ornate hook, bag not included. That's D's. Um, light switch. That's a lamp. That's cool. What's this little thing? Like a night light? I don't know. Across from that, we've got storage. Oh, full length mirror here with hangy dudes. Ooh, next door. Full length, uh, thinking this is one of those, yeah, little shelves that you can fold up and latch and it hooks up there just in case you want like long storage. If we back way over here, we've got drawers, shelves, a safe, and life jackets. So let's get our bearings front door, bathroom, storage that we just looked at. So coming out here, we have a nice big couch. Actually, the whole cabin feels kind of big. This is where they keep their D's in this cabin, by the way. I'm learning all about Italian fun. Yeah, some different <laughs> events and things. There's a nice little marble-ish table, bed, 
big artwork, cozy cove balcony, TV on the wall. Looking at bedside storage, it has a little thing with a door. I don't see any sneaky power over here, no power solutions. Oh, D side of the bed got the USBs. That's funny because you don't even use those. Yours is USB-C. No. Huh. Over here at the desk, we've got a little um fridgy, coolery thing, of course. Close that back up. I wonder what could be in this drawer. Huh. Maybe a hair dryer. Sweet. Little marble. Look at the size. They got one and a half liter bottles for the waters. Wow. Marble countertop, paper fun times, heck yeah. Power solutions, we're looking at a 220, a 120, a 120, a couple USBs, and a 220. Big ornate mirror with me in it, and some shelves over here to the side. So we've got kind of a, I don't know if you'd call that a window seat, but there's our window. Let's get out here and look at this cove. Oh, it's a little loud out here, y'all. Step over the threshold, hold the door with my foot. Nice little sheltered cove balcony. Door can be open to the neighbor. A couple of chairs and a table. I think we'll enjoy this quite a bit. But I think we'll enjoy it more when it's quieter. So I'm gonna stand here at the door to the cove and we'll just pan the entire area. Take in all the decor, the magnificence, the D's. It feels big. It feels like a nice spacious room. It's very large, yeah. I can tell already. I think it's bigger than some of the other ones. And the couch is larger too. Oh, true, yeah. There's some drawers underneath the couch, but it looks like they've got bedding. bedding in those, yeah. Did you just slap the table? I did, but I was going for like being cool and not nice. noticing that. Yeah, super cool, super cool. <laughs> D's suitcase is the winner today. We saw it out by the elevators when we came down the stairs, so we knew. <laughs> now let's just wait for mine. It's close by. Before we can get started with all the fun and the excitement that we have in store, we are just hanging around, just waiting for 503 people to go get checked in, so. Go do it. My suitcase is still not here, but that's all right. I'm just looking for it. It'll show up one of these times. Welcome back to the Lido deck. Oh, bing bong. Ah, there's our Festa Italiana banners. I think that is happening tonight. We might have said that earlier. I forget what I said in a live stream and what I said in a vlog. <laughs> Let's plop it up to 11. Well, we found a nook to chill out in. I think we have about a half an hour until the sail away party, so we will just wait up here. The faint sounds of steel drums in the air. So Italian up in here right now. I'm ready for some Italian vacation. I'm ready to roam. That's, that's the only Italian joke I got. It is my pleasure to welcome you on board. Captain Claudio. Since if it is our highest priority. Cover your ears. We have survived the safety briefing. Oh, we are ready for some sail away excitement. We're just curious to see how crowded this little dance floor might get out here. It'll be good to see over the next four days how like functional, how things work on the ship. Spaces, yeah. Yeah. And if they put deck chairs out here. Yeah, where would- I don't know that they're gonna be able to. Like, where would they go? Because it's a walking area as well. Hmm. We'll let you know. Curiouser and curiouser. There it is. It's about 425. They've just honked the horn three times. Now, well, judging by the fact that I see buildings moving, I'm assuming that means we have set sail officially. Y'all, we just learned the sail away party is at the aft public pool. Y'all, we found now, everybody. We did it. Down here, the least you can do is clap your hands. Two to the front. Go two, two, hop. Let's go right foot. Let's see if we can get a better view. There we go. Man, okay, they are crammed in back here. I'm trying to figure out if this was a larger space or a smaller space than the main pool. Oh well, it's a party. It's a skyline peeking while we're out here. You know we love this skyline sail away. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I've turned the speed up. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's the wobble. You know it. Started to dance. 
<laughs> Just have a little party up here. <laughs> There's no room down there, so. Oh no, he's making it complicated now. Hold on. I guess this is the Italian wobble, given all of the gondolier costumes they've got the staff in. <laughs> they got some of these favorite workout equipment up here. Oh my gosh. No, I'm good. I just did the, the Zumba wobble. That's true. <laughs> We're going to come look at some buildings. It's time for official Manhattan basking moment. Oh, you can see Empire State over there. The I know, I love it. Let's hear it for New York. Oh, we didn't even come see the mini golf course yesterday. Wow. Oh, we got some children's here at the waterworks, so we'll try not to show them, but that's cool. We came back to the cabin and found some presents. Okay, so Carnival Fun Italian Style ah, Inaugural Sailing Bags. That's cute. It's kind of like those little plasticky, like a thick plastic. And now from the comfort of our cove, we can enjoy a sunny sail away. Looking over at the New Jersey side of the world. That's Jersey over there, yeah. There's Lady Liberty in the distance. We'll see her a little better as we approach. Well, it's a little overcast out here now. Let's see if we can lighten it up so we can make out some details on the buildings. Hey, Bo. Oh, we are loving this cold life. Look how close we are to the water. I love it. <laughs> I could Liberty. Mm, that, might, that might be a stretch. Uh, <laughs> it really would. <laughs> what well, a cute little green tour boat down there trying to look up Lady Liberty's dress. That's not nice. Now when we sailed out of here on Prima, I missed the bridge sail under, so I'm determined. Let's stay out here till we see that bridge. I think we're just a few minutes away. There on the horizon we see a bridge approaching. The children all around the world are excited to see the bridge of destiny. Maybe the child's name is Destiny. I don't know, she's excited about something. Here we got this helicopter puttering around, checking us out. Oh, they're waiting for us on the other side of the bridge. Nice. Get all that shot. Yeah, I feel like it might be something for the news. Tell me if you see us later. Yeah, you guys, check the news. I have no idea what news it is. New York. We're on the good side. Helicopter's looking at us. Is that a child making dog barking noises? I'm not sure. It's going to be on the news too. Oh, Destiny. Yeah, Destiny's turned into a dog. But I mean, that's cool. I think we're on the news. Oh, man. All right. Well, here's much better bridge footage than we got for our Prima Sail Away. And we're on the news. So bonus. I guess this is the first time yeah. Carnival Venezia has sailed outward under this bridge. We're witnessing history and the passing of this bridge. <laughs> Everybody's like, stop looking at this bridge. We've been looking at this bridge for like a minute. Should have blown the horn as we went under it now. Maybe that's not how that works. Scare the car. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, there's a slamming of a balcony door. We've heard like 300 of those in the past minute. Goodbye, bridge. Goodbye, news station, if that's what you are. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. I mean, it's blue. <laughs> into the deep blue world. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Happy, I would say fresh and clean, but my suitcase is still not here. I know. I took a shower. Put on clothes. Yeah, put on the <laughs> same, same overgarments and undergarments that I've had on all day. So I can't even call myself fresh and clean right now. You guys might get to see a lot of embarkation Oh my sure. gosh. All right, we're going to go track. No, we hope not. <laughs> they said after seven o'clock, we should be able to go to guest services and ask. We also have an air tag in there. So we'll see if we can locate it by the air tag. Smart. Uh, that's all I know. So main dining room. 
Yeah, I think. Should be good. Yeah, they let me go in there with shorts on, whatever. Yeah, it's carnival. It's not formal night. It'll be fine. It's yeah. not fancy. So yeah, we'll MDR it up. There's a few new looking menu items on there with little Italian flags by them. So I'm <laughs> curious to see. Um, yeah, and then we'll just see where the evening takes us. There's not really like a welcome aboard show. There's a late, late night adult comedy show. Mm -hmm. And there's bingo? No, what's the Yeah, there's option? bingo, and then there's the um, Italian festival um, oh, lead up to from 8 to like 10, 15. So it's like okay. a, you know. Show up, like a, do stuff, leave. Yeah, kind like of a thing. rotating baby that, shower. That's the word. One of those things. Rotating. <laughs> float in, float out. I don't know what I'm trying to It's called say. floating, actually. I use the wrong floating. word, too. Floating. Y'all, food. We definitely need that. And coffee. Good yeah. grief. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Here comes sad sock of the day because all my socks are in my suitcase. Ready for it? Oh, no. Mm hmm. If you get your suitcase, you can still fit it in today's video. Too late. <laughs> it's too late. I'm committed to this now. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. Bye. So we didn't really check out any cabin hallways when we were on here yesterday. They got a pretty good width to them. Nice art. <laughs> Just being observing of things. <gasps> These people have a suitcase. <laughs> not yours. Let me not observe that. Oh, we'll find it. I'm just gonna turn this into a nude cruise, okay? It's gonna be one of them kind of things. All right, y'all just hold on. Not gonna be much vlogging, but you know what I mean? Up, up, up. You know, somebody's clothes on the stairs. What kind of cruise is this? Well, we've come to deck three to wait because our assignment could be either three aft or four aft. So we'll hang out here till we get our table and see where we are. All right, we think we got an assignment for deck four, but we'll come find out. Okay. Oh, just kidding, we are on deck three. The table number started with a four, so I was confused. Oh, there's the gondola out there. Well, here is our table. We got a nice aft view of some water as we sail. There's our digital menu. So some of the things are like calamari, which has always been on the menu, Caesar salad. Ooh, that little flag item looks new. Jump down here to the mains. We have a chicken dish. Lasagna, of course, has been on there you know, pretty much the whole time. Up charges and desserts. Oh, taste of Italy, they're calling it. All right, the bread choices tonight were cranberry or cranberry. He just had a giant basket of cranberry, but you know what? That's my favorite. And they have started doing butter in pats instead of like the whipped doodly doos. <laughs> He's talked about bingo. Nothing here. We've got a paper in our mailbox. Nothing inside the cabin either. Let's go to guest services. Oh, there's my bag. Oh my gosh. Yes, my good old plastic and metal tag fell off the top of the suitcase. I was wondering. So it finally broke. We have some spares at home. Welcome home, little suitcase. We missed you. Hey, we're going back up to deck three again. So we've planted ourselves down here in the atrium, which is actually called a piazza. I'm not confused at all. Because Reggie is going to do some acoustic guitar playing. We have not seen her since Celebration. The furniture down here is not too bad. It's a little butt huggy, as Dee called it earlier. You know, you got... It's, it's some, not bad, though. No, nah, not bad. It's, it gives you a nice booty hug. That's right. A nice warm booty hug. <laughs> having some sound issues up there. Maybe they can work the bugs out. We've got sound. I think we're going 
check out the Festa Italiana. I think it's gotten a little dark outside, which could be fun. Welcome to Festa Italiana. To see if yeah, competitions really happening out here. What we're about to do is a gelato eating competition where we have about one pound of ice cream that we're going to see who can eat the most out of it. Oh, we got some photo ops and things really happening over there with the professionals. They are having a gelato eating competition for the kids. Anybody? But they have to be under 18. So right. Can't I, can't, I was about to be like, please give me a pound of gelato. <laughs> I would, I would win that competition twice. <laughs> How much is a pound like of gelato it. anyway? Oh. It sounds like a lot of gelato. Okay. So, I feel like this might be a little too easy for you. So we're we're gonna take away your spoons. And we're gonna give each of you a blindfold. Yeah. Games over the course of the night. They said there's a dance class coming up next. The Tarantella is a dance that originated in southern Italy as a response to the belief of Tarantism. It is the idea that the bite of a tarantula spider caused a frenzied state. a little bit chilly out here so we're gonna get deep some warm beverages here at the beverage station by Tomodoro. I'll have some warm beverage too. This is a little awkward having this counter space with the uh, bars in it. We were trying to figure out where we could set our cups. I don't know, it just felt a little unstable so we used the countertop up there to prepare our beverages. It's cute. They're getting a lot of kids involved in the activities out there. I think we'll hang out and just see what else they've got up their sleeves from afar as we sip on our beverages. They have brought out some string music up there. Hey now. Try to continue some investigation. Ah, uh, yes, here is the cute Lido area where it feels like they're kind of doing that indoor outdoor type of thing. It's like grass and trees and whatnot. We're hoping to see what the dinner options were on the buffet, possibly, if they're still open. Ooh, all the panels are down. We might be a little bit too late for tonight. Well, we could at least sneak a peek at what the menu was. Yeah, a lot of that is the same as the MDR had. A couple of different options, though. Uh, I was wondering what everybody was in line for. Looks like they are getting deli, because the deli is open, but the buffet, I believe, is gone. She shut. Oh yeah, we got a time change coming up. Quick, back to the cabin. <laughs> Ooh, artsy. All right, welcome back to deck two. Look how long this hallway is. It really is. When you come down at the back and you live, well, we live in the mid actually, which is really nice. Good, good night. night. How do you say good night in Italian? Buonasera. That's good evening, isn't it? <laughs> Buonanotte. Close enough. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. Good night. Good night. That's it. No, I'm kidding. See you later. So how? Oh, it's even darker in here now. The lighting's a little creepy. It's all right, but oh, oh there we go. Thanks, that's camera. Us. How is your words of stuff that's not dinner? Yeah, no, no. Tonight's good. Uh, so they didn't have like the traditional welcome aboard mm. show, and I don't think that's the norm from what I read in the Facebook group. Somebody said that on this particular four-day cruise, they wanted to do the Italian festival to like celebrate, you know, the inauguration mm. of being yeah, out of New York. Gotcha. So I think it's usually on the longer cruises, but not the four days. So they did that tonight, which was really cute. They had lots of activities for the whole family. We didn't catch the beginning, so I'm not sure what all went on. But True. I would imagine it was. Similar games, music, dancing, things like that. So, really fun. Good sticking to the theme. 
Uh, we listened to Reggie for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Always fantastic. Yeah. She's such a good singer. I'm sure we'll listen to more of her. We only got four days. <laughs> three, three more days. Is that all we did? Kind of. I yeah. think other than eating, the eating We part. tried to show you guys the buffet, but uh, we missed well, that. Well, whoops. We were, you know, <laughs> being involved in the festival thing. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah. We got so many days left to explore. <laughs> and whatever. All right. Let's do dinner. Okay. Let's Manja mania. Oh, oh no. that's good. I just I made that one up myself. How do you like that? Yeah. So you started off with calamari fritti. I did. So I was trying to stick to like the Italian themed food, even though yes, I've had calamari a million times on Carnival. Seasoned really well. Mm. A bit rubber bandy, if I'm honest, but it is hard to get calamari like perfectly cooked. But I didn't mind because the seasoning was good, and I like the uh, marinara to dip it in. I had the chicken quesadilla, which I've had a million times on Carnival. <laughs> it was actually good though. Um, combining, I'm not sure there was a little teeny, teeny, teeny bit of spice in there, just enough to make you go, "Ooh, that's nice." <laughs> I think it was coming from the quesadilla, not the salsa. I tried to taste them separately, but really well done, well cooked, good blend of ingredients. I like that quesadilla. Good. Get it. It's approved by me. Uh, you had a Caesar salad. Caesar salad's always good. I do like carnivals. The dressing is always like nice and anchovy, if you like that. Mm. If you didn't know there's anchovies in Caesar salad. Oh, surprise. I think you guys knew that though. Um, fresh lettuce and the Parmesan cheese was nice and salty. I don't know, I'm trying to think of descriptive words, yeah, but it was like very good. Describing a salad real well, <laughs> that's good. Uh, I had the, it was a fancy tomato soup, I don't remember the words, and it said it came with Tuscan bread. It did not come with Tuscan bread, so D donated me, me, me. Her croutons. That's yeah. how words work. She Too donated them to me. Any of the croutons. Um, it was actually really good. Now, I don't know what the tomato soup is supposed to taste like. It tasted like a really thin spaghetti sauce. So is that that's what an Italian tomato soup would taste like, right? Don't know. It was great. I would get it again. <laughs> mm, I want some more just looking at that picture. You had some pollo. Yeah, this is the new menu item that I found. It's some sort of Italian chicken mm. with potatoes and sausage, Italian sausage and broccoli. You guys, this was delicious, perfectly cooked. I love the seasoning on it. Definitely tasted the Italian flavors. It all blended perfectly and the broccoli was cooked like nice and blanched really well. Whoa. Yeah, um, would highly recommend and get this again, yes. I'm sure it's not pollo, that's Spanish. I'm sure it's, it's probably <laughs> polo in Italian. Yeah, and the lady um, next to us had it and she was mm. commenting about how good it was too. I also had like three bites and it was pretty fantastic, <laughs> so I would get that. Speaking of what I got, Indian vegetarian, which I've had a bunch of times on Carnival. Now, I've noticed on a couple of ships recently, they've scaled down the Indian vegetarian. It used to be three sort of like main dishes with some rice and you would get a second plate that had your sides, I mean, that had like raita and spicy stuff on it. They've stopped bringing the condiments, probably because people, people probably, didn't probably were wasting them. But it's down to two mains. I don't know if this is every ship. So I had two mains, both of which were great. I had a cauliflower and a potato one that was a little delightfully spicy. The one in the bowl was like peas and carrots and things like that, which was not spicy, but it was tasty. Rice was good. Pop it up. It was crispy, but it was also a little chewy. It was almost mm -hmm. going to get to the point of sogging if it had sat there a few more minutes. But overall, <laughs> love it. Yeah. You had some fruit. Yeah. I tend to get a lot of fruit on Carnival because I'm just not big into the desserts. How do you describe that fruit? It was fresh and cold and delicious and in season. Wow. Yeah. Seasonal fruit. It was really good. <laughs> It's a medley, medley of fruit. And I gave Jay the pineapple, so I don't know what it tasted sure. like. It was pineapple. -y. Uh, I had a medley of cheese. Mm, 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 mm. What was that like? It was so cheesy, just like me, all my jokes. Um, <laughs> it's like a plate of my jokes. Um, the two pieces of the sort of yellowish, whitish cheese, you could tell they had been cut a while ago. They had like firmed up on the edges, mm -hmm. and but the inside was good. Uh, the brie was tasty. The blue, of course, was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that got us on both of our oh, plates, yeah. the grapes had seeds. We're so used to just chowing down on seedless grapes. We crunched right into Not those suckers. Not the big seeds, like the little ones, but yeah. they're super bitter if you bite into them. So that was I did. a surprise. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, was, it was fantastic. I've been talking about food um, for 15 We minutes. have, y'all. We gotta go to bed. So half this video is us talking about dinner. Sorry. We gotta get faster at this in the future. Yeah. But everything's been really good. Yeah. Bedtime. Good night. See you all tomorrow. We got a sea day. Yes. How about that? More to explore. Good night, y'all. Bye. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Buona notte. <laughs> We'll look up more Italian for you. Bye. We won't. <laughs> We are scrolling through the on-demand movie section. They have got some free ones which are designated, of course, by yeah. the green. They're not free? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, the green word, free in the corner. I was like hoping I understood it correctly.
Yeah, so apparently if you want to watch La La Crocodile, you gotta pay for that one. But if you want to watch uh, whatever was up at the top... There's more down here. Let's go there. Oh yeah, if you want to watch I'm Totally Fine, it's totally fine because it's free. Yeah. Alright, well we're gonna um, watch something. Bye! <laughs>